Here we have a simplified version of an aircraft landing gear circuit schematic. It shows us how the pilot raises and lowers the landing gear and is helpful in troubleshooting the landing gear circuit. The various components of this circuit include the bus bar from where the electrical power from the alternator and battery disseminate electrical power to the various electrical systems in the aircraft. Attached to it are the 5 amp circuit breaker which protects the circuit for the red up and green down indicator lights. In the 20 amp circuit breaker which protects the circuit supplying power to the electrical motor which raises and lowers the landing gear. The gear switch is a pilot controlled switch that allows the pilot to raise and lower the landing gear from the cockpit. The relay is a remotely controlled switch which allows for controlling the high amperage current necessary to raise the landing gear with a lower amperage current. The horn will sound whenever the throttle is retarded beyond a certain point and the landing gear has not been lowered. The horn will also sound if someone attempts to raise the landing gear while the aircraft is sitting on the ground. The push to test circuits on the down and up indicator lights allow the pilot to determine whether these lights are functioning properly or not. The nose gear down, left gear down, and right gear down switches complete the circuit to the down indicator light, turning it on when all three landing gear are down and locked in position. The nose gear down switch also allows current to flow through the throttle switch and the down limit switch to the warning horn. The down limit switch also allows current to flow from the gear switch to the motor so the gear can be lowered. Once the gear is fully down, the down limit switch opens that part of the circuit shutting off power to the gear motor. The gear safety switch, also known as a squat switch, prevents the gear from being raised while the aircraft is sitting on the ground. It also provides a conductive path for current to flow to the relay, energizing it and allowing the relay contacts to close. The up limit switch allows current to flow to the up indicator light when the gear are up and at the same time opens the circuit to the relay, turning the motor off. We begin this slide by observing the switches in the gear down, airplane on the ground position. Note the location of the throttle switch. It will be the first switch to change position once we begin the sequence of transitioning from parked on the ground with the gear down to cruise flight with the gear up. As the pilot advances the throttle to achieve takeoff power, the throttle switch will open. The airplane will then begin accelerating down the runway and once it achieves rotation speed, the aircraft will lift off of the runway, taking the weight off of the landing gear, resulting in the gear safety switch changing position. This will help to complete the circuit to the gear relay through the up limit switch once the pilot places the gear switch in the up position. With the gear switch in the up position, current will flow from the bus, through the gear switch, through the up limit switch, and the gear safety switch to the relay. With the relay energized, the relay contacts will close, allowing current to flow through the relay to the gear motor and ground, raising the landing gear. Once the gear starts to rise, the down limit switch will change positions, closing the circuit between the gear switch and the gear motor. Once the gear is fully up, 
the up limit switch will change position, opening the circuit to the gear relay, de-energizing the gear relay. Once the gear relay is de-energized, its contact will open, stopping the flow of electrical current to the gear motor, effectively shutting it off. As the aircraft approaches its landing site, the pilot will reduce power to slow the aircraft and descend. Prior to landing, the pilot will lower the landing gear by placing the in cockpit gear switches in the down position. This allows current to flow from the bus through the gear switch and down limit switch to the gear motor and then ground turning the motor on and lowering the gear. Once the gear begins to come down, the up limit switch will change position. Once the landing gear is fully extended, the down limit switch will change position, opening the circuit between the bus and the gear motor, shutting the gear motor off. Just prior to landing, the throttle is further retarded and the throttle switch will close. Once the aircraft lands and the weight of the aircraft sets upon the landing gear, the gear safety switch will change position. If an airplane's landing gear were raised while the aircraft was on the ground, with the weight of the aircraft resting upon its wheels, the aircraft would fall to the ground causing severe damage. The gear safety switch, commonly referred to as a squat switch, helps to prevent this occurrence by opening the circuit between the bus and the gear motor whenever the weight of the airplane is on its wheels. The warning horn is also designed to sound an alert whenever the gear switch is placed in the up position and the weight of the aircraft rests upon its wheels. If the gear switch is moved to the up position while the aircraft is on the ground, electrical current will flow from the bus through the gear switch, then through the up limit switch and gear safety switch to the horn sounding a warning alarm. If, when approaching an airport to land, the airplane's landing gear is not lowered prior to touching down on the runway, substantial damage will occur to the aircraft and the airplane's occupants may suffer severe injury. A warning horn will sound an alert if the pilot has not lowered the landing gear prior to retarding the throttle in preparation for landing. If the throttle switch is retarded before the landing gear is lowered, Current will flow from the bus through the nose gear down switch, through the throttle switch, and then through the down limit switch to the warning horn, alerting the pilot to lower the landing gear prior to touching down on the runway. The green geared down indicator light informs the pilot that all three landing gear are down and locked prior to landing. Each gear down switch will only close once its respective landing gear is down and locked. All three landing gear must be down before the green geared down indicator light will illuminate. 
Once all three landing gear are down and locked, currents will flow from the bus through the nose gear down switch, through the left gear down switch, and through the right gear down switch to the gear down indicator light. Retractable gear aircraft were designed to reduce aerodynamic drag and improve efficiency in flight. Once the landing gear has been retracted, a red indicator light in the cockpit will inform the pilot that the landing gear has been raised. And once the landing gear has been raised, current will flow from the bus through the up limit switch to the red indicator light. 